The Govan house is one of the most important aspect of Govan ethos. If you drive from Mumbai to Kanyakumari, the nature is almost exactly the same. We have the seashore, we have the palm trees, we have the mango trees, jackfruit trees, hills and rivers. But the moment you enter Goa, even before you start speaking to anybody, the houses of Goa start speaking to you. Uh, this is a very special language and architecture which developed in Goa. Of course, with a lot of Portuguese influence, but it's a language of architecture which is specific to Goa. I have been painting Goan houses right from my childhood. I learned the technique of watercolors from my father and I painted hundreds of Goan houses. I must have become one of the largest property dealers in the form of watercolors of houses of Goa. I sold many, many houses, many, many paintings, watercolors of houses. The windows interested me very much. Each window of a Goan house is different. When I painted the houses, I was more interested in the light and shade effect. You can see that in the watercolors which you are looking at. I also went to Portugal and painted quite a few uh, interesting Portuguese houses which are similar to Goan houses but not exactly the same. There is not a single house like a Goan house anywhere in Portugal. My language of art has changed ever since. I do not do uh, watercolors of Goan windows and Goan houses anymore. What I did now was I started looking at the old walls of crumbling houses. There was an unwritten rule during the Portuguese days that a house should not be painted white. Only the church or the chapel in the village had to be white and the house had to be either indigo, blue, red oxide or aloe ochre, which were natural pigments available. So all these houses have these colors and every year the house had to be painted because with the heavy monsoons, the chuna, the lime coat would get fungus and there was somebody engaged by all the basically richer people that every year somebody came, scrubbed off the fungus and painted the house again. Now this particular house, which I got interested in, is about 150 years old and there is a tradition that before Christmas everybody paints the house. So before Christmas this house was painted, so there are 150 coats of paint and when I investigated I realized that every 30-40 years they would change the color of the house. So we, the house was first red oxide, then it was ochre, then it was blue and then again it was ochre. So these were many layers and these are the paints which were applied during Christmas, which is called Natal in Konkani and in Portuguese. So I call this work 150 Natal celebrations. So this is a very good example of how my artistic language changed from a realistic way of depicting the house in watercolors to doing a very conceptual work by taking the pieces of the wall and displaying those pieces of the wall as a work of art.